hi to all followers for some four or five months we are we were delaying this project to refurbish one model 3 battery pack with the nmc cells we have two cars now and it's time to proceed to make the complete uh, refurbish process to make all the tools uh, and to find the best solution to refurbish it when we when we when we have uh, one a bleeding cell discharging uh, the block this battery pack is on the driver's side uh, brick 17 uh, discharge almost at 3 volts uh, it's crucial to start on proce repair procedure immediately if it discharges uh, below 2.8 2.7 and stays too long there it will damage all cells in the parallel then it's not possible to refurbish it then you need to change complete one block okay we have it on stock but that, that's not the point uh, we want to save we want to save this block uh, and we want to prove that uh, the sample of this block is something similar to structural pack and uh, it should be possible to refurbish it to change only one cell it's not easy task because we need to produce the tools to access one cell to find one cell and to change it to another one weld fuses back and assemble everything and test it uh road test it uh, to prove it that repair refurbish is successful we will now proceed to, for, to document complete disassembly process it will be available at evc academy uh, we will make pictures of every step what you need to do because this is this is this is really really a uh, complex thing to do because you need to disassemble all parts inside the penthouse then unglue all around the pack and then you are able to remove the upper and, uh, in this picture i am now showing you this is a uh, reading 15 days ago and it's showing uh it's showing brick 17 discharge with almost four or five hundred millivolts of delta Penthouse is out, almost completely disassembled. Those are all parts. This is OBC, power, distri power distribution unit, uh, contactors, AC contactors. And the most difficult part is disassembling high voltage connectors. First, you need to do deattach the, the PVC side, then we will be able to lift complete core because the core is one complete part from upper side. Yeah, core is out. Now we will inspect this block which is in effect i think it's a uh, brick uh, 17 brick 17 is uh, from this side behind this plastic cover are sense wires we will check what is the voltage and recharge the bleeding brick because we want to save the rest of cells in parallel. Now we will confirm that we have a bleeding brick on 17. Uh, let's say this is, I think this is, yeah, this one is 3.0. Uh, this one is discharged for almost 700 millivolts delta. And this is the next brick, which is 3.7. That means we need to locate those two at the beginning of the pack there uh -huh. block is finally out first you need to release uh, two hand pipes which can be tricky you can break those two uh, 
hinges. And the second step is to release high voltage bolt, 13 millimeters. Then all the bolts in the middle. After that, it's it's pretty heavy to take it out. And the block is out here. We are investigating which which brick is uh, which brick is discharging from the bottom side. And we can see traces of water ingress. And the hole is here. This battery pack was purely damaged by external mechanical damage and water ingress now this is the this is the brick in the effect it's 3.069 and we can see traces of corrosion here I am pretty sure that we have issue with only this one cell we will extract this cell and we will weld the fuses with the laser and we'll balance the pack and put it in the battery pack in stage two video. For now we we have some we have some our internal process. We will try to save this brick. We need to uh, we need to uh, prove that this cell is in the effect. Then we will proceed with the change and balancing of the cell. We are, making, we are making our own tool for cell extraction and we will save the battery pack, complete battery pack, which is worth around 9,000 euro plus tax. We will save it only by changing only one cell. This is the first example and we will make EVC Academy training uh, operation manual for this uh, because we have two cars with the same problem. Uh, this one with 150,000 km, which is water ingress, and second one is with uh, 250,000 km, but it's standard range with less cells in parallel for each brick, which we will uh, repair later. First, we will put this long range battery pack inside the standard range, program it, and then we will repair the second one and with different, with different problem. We will try to find which uh, which cell is short brick and we will try to change it because that battery pack do not have any issues with the uh, water ingress. Uh, today is second day. Uh, yesterday we uh, recharged this brick 17 and we left it for voltage relaxation. We checked yesterday between two hours how much voltage dropped on the brick 17 and on the one cell we isolated. And there is a visible trace of water ingress and oxidation on the cell. And we are pretty sure that this was the main reason why it failed. Anyway, uh, in the second day, after water, water relaxation, we checked the brick 17. It was just uh, some around, something around 7 millivolts of voltage drop. But on this cell, it's almost 350 millivolts of water drop that means this cell is completely discharging by itself that's why it's called and uh, why tesla called it uh short to brick we will now to discharge this cell and start with the extraction Now we will change this cell, which is in bad condition, from back side. And we will put new cell, I mean second hand used, from the same long range battery pack. Uh, we will use the same fuse and we will laser weld it with our newest machine. We will laser weld plus and negative terminal to the bus bars. What is interesting, uh, Model 3 battery pack has something around 5,500 cells. That means with one bad battery pack, we can repair at least 5,000 other cars from other battery packs. Because usually one cell fails and you need to change one cell. So it's almost out. Now we will use a uh, special silicone, 
it's thermal conductive we will mix it and put it inside this is specially used in Dimac Automobili secret sauce if you will use it too the glue is inside and now I will push the cell in it's fully pressed inside now I will use my special laser tool to weld the fuse first plus then negative terminal We'll connect those two. Those are ceramic tweezers. <laughs> 